We live in a data-driven world, but not all data is equal. Same as diamonds, data has different quality characteristics, completeness, timeliness, accuracy. Same as diamonds are cut, the way data is presented can make it shine or dull. Data visualization is the discipline dedicated to communicating meaningfully by designing the way we represent data. It lays at the intersection of communication, information science, and design. This facilitates the thinking and seeing functions of the human brain with the use of pattern recognition, spatial awareness, and aesthetics. Data visualization increases the speed at which data is comprehended by others and facilitates the decision making. What makes good data visualization? Some of the useful precognitive attributes of data are color to emphasize data and make comprehension almost instant, size to show quantity, orientation to show trends, flicker to capture attention. Quantitative data is oftentimes represented by graphs. Some of the most common ones are pie charts to show part of a whole, bar charts to better compare data sets, line charts to show trends. But not all graphs are equal. If they sound like food, their use is not recommended. Pie, donut, and spaghetti charts fall in this category. Some other popular data visualization constructs are interactive graphics, facilitating viewer engagement and data drill downs, infographics, presenting large set of qualitative and quantitative data in an efficient way. Animations such as this doodle video are commonly used to present content in an appealing way. Another category of tools are the ones used for visualizing relationships. Hierarchies, organizational charts fall in this category. Networks, public transportation network maps being a good example. While data visualization can be applied across various fields of human endeavors, in a business context, some of the most popular management tools are also excellent data visualization tools. Strategy maps, scorecards, dashboards, risk heat maps. This demonstrates that attention should be given not only to the quality of the content, but also to how it is presented.